once again it's starting to rain. Hey everyone, Reese is trained and today you find me up in Scotland, we're in Edinburgh and I'm by St James's Quarter and I'm also by the W Hotel right behind me and I've just been spending a little bit of time in Edinburgh wandering around getting to know the place a little bit better and I figured while we're at it, let's go back to Edinburgh Waverley Station and we'll take a ride along the Borders Railway Line if that's the what it's called down towards Tweedbank. So, um, let, let's get going, let's walk towards Edinburgh Waverley Station. I'm sure this is going to be a nice little ride. Okay, so even though there's an entrance down there to Waverley, we're, we're today going to go down this way because I might pick up something to eat. Okay, decisions, decisions. Do I get a Subway or do I get a McDonald's? Go on then, McDonald's it is. So, as you can see my hands are pretty full, I've got my drink, I've got uh, my food here. So, we'll get on the train and I will show you what I've got. So, the first service we're going to be getting, I believe it's the 1310 ScotRail service to Tweedbank. So, let's get on the platform and then we'll see if my train's there yet. I believe we're on platform four. Okay, so we've got a Turbo Star. It is 174 free two. May as well jump on board straight away then. Let's have a look at the seats. Very nice. Scott Rail. And I've noticed as well with this unit, the seating layout is exactly the same as on Northern, as it's a similar type of model as that went down to Northern from Scott Rail a few years ago. Got the screens as well, which I much for these. They're more Northern replaced. Right, okay, now I'm already getting Northern trains vibes on this Turbo Star from being on the Harrogate Loop and Sheffield Scar by Hull, but this time we're on Scott Rail. Um, the interior, say, is pretty much the same as um, Northern. The le seat layout is exactly the same as Northern, except for a few little bits and pieces that are slightly different, but I like how the screens are original. Just wish Northern had um, not swapped their eyes. I keep banging on about that. And it's pretty much the same, as I say, you know, as as, as you get on Northern. So I'm not probably, not, probably not going to go into too much detail anyway. So seats are comfortable, very comfortable, very soft. Um, slightly softer than Northern's. You have got plug sockets, you've got bins, you've got overhead luggage racks. And it's, it's these are very nice trays. I'm sitting in the same table seat spot I'm in right now as I normally would be if I was taking Northern. So... Yeah, something nice. And while we're here, let's have a look at my lunch for today, what I got. So, I've gone for the large Big Mac meal uh, with fries, and I got a Coke Zero to go with that as well. And there's a straw to go with it too. While we're waiting, I'm just putting some music on, and I'm gonna start tucking in. Chips. Mmm. Very nice. Okay, so let's see what the Mac is like. We are now approaching Bruxton. Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. If you see something that does not look right, speak to a member of staff or text the British Transport Police on 61. There's a lot of platforms seem to be on this side of the train. Any 
right here is due to Grange. wasn't too bad um, I'll put that in the captions just so it saves me um, putting some incorrect in which I tend to do sometimes you know me but we'll get in the Tweed Bank and then we'll go for a little wander for a little bit and here we are at Tweed Bank another Scott Rail station got the um, newer style doors for the turbo stars here and if we go outside I will show you something else this is Tweed Bank where this train will terminate. Please Sorry, you can't see this because there's a camera flicker, but you can see it's got the original PIS as well on the, uh, the, the sides as well, which some of the Turbo Stars don't have. Right, so here I am in Tweed Bank. So, very simple. You've got two platforms, I think. Yeah, two platforms. Turbo Star right next to me. Scott Rail Collier, managed by Scott Rail. And finally, my hair happens to get wet here at Tweed Bank Station. <laughs> There's a little car park here as well at Tweed Bank. Fun fact, the Borders Railway opened by Her Majesty the Queen in September 2015, who has sadly passed away. Okay, I have made it to the shelter. Why does it have to start raining? Whenever, sometimes I go out and do filming, the weather's against me. It's always against me, the weather. Uh, but anyway, I'm in Tweed Bank. Um, I'm going to have a little wander anyway, see what there is around here, just for the sakes of it. This turbo star here is about to head back up for Edinburgh Waverley, and I'm going to be getting another service in about 30 minutes' time. So let's have a little wander and see what I can find, try and pass the time and... Yes, I'm gonna get, I feel I'm gonna get soaked, but we'll see. I'll put my hood up if need be. Okay, it's slowed down, so you know what? Let's risk it. There we go. I don't like putting my um, hood up, to be honest, but um, there we are. I've tried to shower the rain best I can. I think this is the best I can do, but hey ho. Let's go for a walk anyway. Okay, so it seems down here this is a um, industrial estate. Gas station and a Greg's as well. Right, so I think this is gonna round off this video. You can see I'm right on a main road and had a little wander and I'm about to head back up to the station in a minute. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe um, and I will see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.